Rocking with PettyBlog.com. I can't be on the Petty Blog. <laughs> oh, Petty. So they already know that I'm dropping the tea. So let's get right into it. A TikToker who must be in her 30s was making it known that she not finna be age shamed, okay? Because at least she was around when Rihanna was really true to her name. You know, Bad Gal Rivi, when she used to drag folks left and right, up and down. I was around when Rihanna was on the internet acting a motherfucking fool. Oh my God, for real. She did that. But y'all don't hear me though. Point is, Rihanna ain't playing around with y'all. Never did, and I'm sure never will. So big ups to Machiavelli for recalling some of the drags because you know Petty Blog gonna also point some more that y'all must have forgot out too. Cause my observant Pisces self definitely remembers and peeped back then too, okay? Rihanna would be bragging random strangers. So let's bring them receipts out. Let's take a look at this one. When Kendall Jenner tweeted, if Rihanna doesn't perform complicated tomorrow i'm going to be very upset hashtag fave song rihanna said well don't come Ooh. wow when this page tweeted dear rihanna you've gone a little too far with this outfit maybe time to class it up and put some clothes on she tweeted them back and said your p-u-s-s-y is way too dry to be writing my d-i-c-k like this wow so vulgar and that was in 2012. When her and Sierra was beefing and Sierra had just dropped a body party and she did a little acapella joint in the bath. Let's take a look. And you alone now, tell me what you want. Baby, put your phone down, you should turn it up. Rihanna and Melissa was mimicking the bit and posted the shit on Instagram. When Sierra said, trust me, Rihanna, you don't want to see me on or off the stage. Rihanna said, good luck with booking that stage you speak of. Yikes. I know that hurt. She probably cried in the car. But yeah, that was 2011. When this person was being rude to Rihanna, you know, coming for her looks, talking about some, why does her hair look so nappy? Rihanna tweeted and said, cause I'm black, bitch. Don't play with her. She is not one of them. When her and Tiana Taylor was beefing and she put her net worth and made her Twitter header. Now let's take a look. Rihanna tweeted, I hate broke bitches. Tiana Taylor tweeted, Shh, I hate broke bitches too. So Rihanna made her header, Tiana Taylor's 500,000 net worth and her 90 million net worth. Oh, Wow. And of course that was like a decade ago cause now we all know she's a billionaire. Straight savage. This person tweeted, my fave is when Matt Barnes was trying to make people think he was dating her and she ended up posting this on Instagram. She put a picture of Matt Barnes, you know, him in the shade and hashtagged it. Bish where? The devil is a liar. She's not that into you. She was not into you at all. She's never even met you. <laughs> Yikes, Matt tried it, but I digress. This actually hurts my feelings, defamation of character. Wow, Rihanna not playing. But check this though, Matt did reply in the comments and wrote, ha ha, wow. Wow was right, she said she never even met you, bruh. Bruh. This person tweeted, Rihanna going in on old boy when he wasn't showing up for LeBron in the Cavs and fans were trying to blame her, crying laughing. Don't nobody want that desert thirsty ninja? Lives in my head rent free. And here's the comment that Rihanna left. She wrote, F you and your whack ASS team. Nobody don't want that desert thirsty ninja. He effing up cause his ASS be hung over from clubbing every night during playoffs. So your issue ain't with Ras or me. Speaking of LeBron, let's talk about this one. So someone tweeted, this was the one for me. White cream on her stomach and tag this married man. Woo, no Fs given. Which is basically when Rihanna posted herself, you know, with the white cream on her stomach with LeBron's numbers 23 and she tagged LeBron himself, okay? And she captioned it, mood. Yeah, she was bold, bold. And when this person was coming for Rihanna talking about some hashtag Rihanna Navy, y'all know Rihanna a hoe, right? Yeah, she sucked Drake D and Eminem D. Ew, she a big time hoe. Rihanna replied and said, you left out a few. Oh, wow. And when MTV tweeted, yikes, Rihanna's marijuana photos from Coachella sparks controversy. She wrote, yikes, Rihanna ran out of Fs to give. Tell them. This person tweeted, nah, my fave is when she was beefing with DLC after they made comments about her. Every time I see you, you don't have to be naked, t by said. It's easy to sell SCX, the duo added, so Re made this her header. Ooh, y'all see that? It's the hypocrisy for me. Not them being naked. Yeah, Rihanna not playing with y'all. She first came out, she was with Chris Brown to wear these big ass shades. This person tweeted, this Karuchi shade hit me like edible at least once a week. She posted a dressed up rice cake. When Rihanna took the bag, did a song with homegirl's man saying she sweeter than a rice cake and posted up courtside with Chris Brown while Karuchi was at home watching the game. Rihanna is undefeated. I agree. This person wrote, the worst one was prom bat. 
which was a picture of Rihanna, you know, on a red carpet looking fine that says IG and a person looking like a bat and it says real life. And Rihanna straight up put the sad face. She could at least act like she liked it and put the happy face, right? I'm just saying. It don't stop there, y'all. Rihanna was going like an Energizer Bunny. This person tweeted, nah, Rihanna was that bitch, cuz. And they posted somebody who tweeted, Rihanna's pregnant but had four boyfriends last month? To which she said, hello, you must be my P-U-S-S-Y. Nice to meet you. <laughs> she funny. This person tweeted, can we talk about this one, please? She was also funny AF. Which is basically a picture of her, Britney Spears, and Lady Gaga. And they had on their hijabs or whatever. And Rihanna wrote, why Gaga look legit as F in hers? <laughs> she definitely does. She looks like a real Muslim. But anyway, let's not forget about this exchange on the gram and the result so basically it's a meme that says her if he wants to talk to me he needs to be at least six one with his own house a big d a german car a good job and no kids and then it says her shoes as y'all see on y'all screen which of course rihanna posted to which this person said exactly women against poor women the kind of girl Rivi used to be um and this person said she joking relax and a person said i'm relaxed i'm just saying and then rihanna said bitch my late grandmother had these shoes but she had humble requirements laugh or log off tell them but here's one that so many missed that was my actual favorite clap back of hers okay i remember it like it was yesterday this was back in 2013 Rihanna posted this picture to which some Indian guy was feeling froggy and left a comment that says, grow hair. To which Rihanna responded and said, why? Your sisters grow it for me. Now run along. <laughs> Damn, didn't she tell y'all she was a savage though? Look, I promise you, Pisces never lie. Just don't try us because we really don't be bothering nobody. But when y'all come for us, oh God, bless your soul, child. I know Rihanna for real. Y'all don't know her like that. And speaking of age, since that's what resurfaced the Riri Dragon Sessions, them young gal them be trying to come for women in their 30s like y'all old as hell y'all pushing 40 and i ain't gonna hold y'all i was one of them at some point up until i hit my 30s so like the meme that was floating around i do want to apologize to all the women who i used to call old too well because really 30s is the new 20s so act like y'all know and shout out to rihanna who makes that quote make sense 34 year old billionaire is showing that it's never too late especially to have kids late quote unquote and she wears her 30s so well okay and i bet she'll still drag people the same way she did in her 20s now in her 30s if they try her i know she'll still shoot a man down, man down. speaking of late talking about she late no shit it's only a matter of trying her to bring the beast out. Nah, but what are y'all thinking overall and about the fact that Rhi used to drag whoever, whenever, however? We want to know, so leave your thoughts below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more. And don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Pettyblog.com signing out.